This is a fantastic village. I mean, I don't understand why people, why people say rural communities are dead, because I've never lived in a community which was more alive. And this village is spectacular, and it has just about a club for pretty much every interest, every legal decent interest. And uh, everyone's involved in a huge range of things, and if anybody ever has a good idea, just support comes out of the woodwork, and uh, we wouldn't be able to make this film I don't think in many other villages in this country because it's quite unique. Please feel free to ask me questions at any stage, but uh, I'm certainly going to open it all up to questions at the end. It's a feel-good romantic comedy. That's the kind of film I'm interested in. I also think it's a, a really good idea that um, there's a village that made a film. One day, maybe a year from now, is for there to be a line of ten orange tappings coaches on the Farrington Road. <laughs> <laughs> on the front of every single one of them it says Leicester Square. And I want to take as many people from the village as possible to Leicester Square for the premiere of a film in which they all appear. And I don't want to again give anything away, but the final scene is the real Red Arrows do a fly, fly past over the house. And uh, that hasn't quite been secured. <laughs> who the hell's dragged all this mud in here? Uh, no idea. The person who came in before me, probably. You can't just walk in here with your muddy boots. This isn't a farmyard, you big oaf. Take your boots off. You should have gone round the back anyway. Sorry, Tom. Go on. Cool. Yeah, it's really come together. Sounds superb. Okay. Yeah, cheers, mate. See you later. I heard about the film project, I think, firstly, through our local magazine called the KBS News. And obviously, people started to talk about it. Um, and uh, that was, I think, probably the first I heard of it. I found out through my grandparents and on the internet and so I finished my degree on the Thursday and came up from the Sunday and started working here. Yeah. <laughs> I just think it would be a wonderful village event. I think this village lends itself to that type of activity, working together. And uh, it was a new, it was a completely new thing for me. I've had nothing to do with film. I think the interesting thing is that the volunteers are coming from a much wider cross-section than any one group. Yeah. It's not just the people from the Dramatic Society. There's people from all sorts of different mm. groups that are already active, and some people who are not active in groups at all, who just mm. thought they might like to you know, be a star. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've always been involved in the village. After spending many, many years with the Parish Council, and I was chairman, as, uh, as many will know, uh, I thought, well, this is a, almost a unique opportunity. And I thought, yes, it would be, be nice to uh, take a small role, not a physical role, but uh, certainly to, to, to assist in, in one small way or another. A lot of volunteers behind the scenes have put in an extreme amount of hours, and for it to hit the screen would be just, I think, tick all the boxes. I love the village. I love Oxfordshire and I love this village and I think the people, it's so wonderful just to walk down to the shops and sort of half a dozen people say, hello Leslie, you know, <laughs> and you feel you know everybody. Um, and that's because of course so many people are involved in the, in the film. For those of you who don't know, this is the other Sue, I'm Sue Weedy, there aren't many of you that don't know us, but this is Sue Melling. 
and we're going to coordinate the catering, but you're going to do all the hard work for us. <laughs> and I think you all know Guy, yeah. if anybody doesn't. Uh, Guy is obviously scriptwriter, director. Simon is the cameraman, who's making the film about the film. So all smile, because you never know when he's there. And Simon is down on the sheet as line producer. Yes, Simon down there. I think I've put down a link pin. Uh, for me, the village news, and then you got me on board. <laughs> yeah, a guy came in to ask me if I would be interested in taking part. Yeah. And um, I, of course, said yes, and then started to panic, thinking, oh God, what have I taken on? It might be a bit too much for me, or, you know, my girls on our own. So, seeing as Angela was um, a good friend of mine, and I'd worked for her, and um, I also thought well, she lives in the village too so it, I think it's fair for us to work together because why not why not go you know be a team we didn't quite know I mean went along to the meeting and ticked everything you know I can help with this I can help with that I can help with the next thing the last thing we expected was to be doing what we're doing now so no, we thought catering really. a couple of cakes and a quiche fine that would be easy then we can do accommodation and wardrobe and we didn't quite expect to be ended up with this it was very exciting, very different and the church didn't look anything like it usually does but um, the choir were all robed and, um, and found that it was they'd practiced for one week, we'd only had the music one week and they practiced just about every night of that week and they could do it from memory and without accompaniment so they did it unaccompanied and I was terribly proud of them. I think my favourite uh, moment scene of the film so far is when we're in church and it's a scene where Tom comes into church, he's looking for a bit of sanctuary, he's obviously feeling a bit stressed about his feelings towards Hannah and doesn't quite know, Anya I should say, doesn't quite know what to do with his feelings and he's sitting in the church, he's walked in, not really aware of his surroundings, bows his head and then suddenly the choir are there singing a cappello, You Can't Hurry Love and it's just a beautiful scene from a photography point of view but also from the way in which is acted out so that was just beautiful really enjoyed that scene. My favourite day of the filming I think was probably was the fate the village fate because um, I thought that it was a lovely day there was lots of people I think it was good yeah I'm sure it would be come across good on the film. I suppose I'm coming handy to it, to it now and uh, chase it up for tomorrow but really I'm the props guy um, I've got a small part in the hus husband obedience trials I'm one of the ladies who uh, chases the men around so uh, that should be fun uh, wear the wife's dress legally for a change really nice to see all the people that you here let me just ask hands up if you were at our first meeting in February hands up got in the team here is a group of people who care passionately about the film, about making it work and making it happen. The very fact that this is happening in God, three and a half weeks' time is a very, very exciting and unusual thing. We're carving out a way of doing something using the vast experience and talents that you've all got. I'm not going to go through uh, all the heads of department now because I, I think each head of department is beginning to get themselves known around the village. We have a lot of talent in the village. We have some fantastic auditions and pretty much I think everybody from the village who audition is in the film. I got the direction slightly wrong because I thought they'd be coming straight ahead anyway, they were off to the side. And we were stood out at the front and I don't use my camera all that often but I had got my camera, I thought I'll take a photograph. And then someone said, oh, they're coming. So I looked down to get my camera and by the time I got my camera, they'd gone. I mean, they were incredibly low which meant they were incredibly fast normally you see the red arrows and they're way up in the sky so you've got a long time to see them but um, it was a blink of an eye and unfortunately I blinked <laughs> so I didn't get a picture of them Thank you.
to me. Yeah. 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 Well, if you keep saying, this is David. No, I don't know. Do you think I can get in there, do I? <laughs> The way, yeah, okay. Uh, well, I have, I'm 25. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, she's a lot older than me, so I'm only. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's wonderful. Do you know it well? Oh, that's your that's cheesecake. Good. I might have a bit of that later. Four slices of cheesecake. Oh, well, I tell you what, I'm just going to touch. <laughs> <laughs> This is my great pleasure to welcome you all to our annual fete this year. It seems to me it's bigger than ever and we've got a lot of nice people here. We've got some wonderful weather and Ginny, I have to say the house and gardens are looking absolutely marvellous. It has been a fate with a difference. The marquees will be up now for a week and um, those who've been here as extras just sitting about, I hope you take today, take the opportunity to go and spend, 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 not just for the church stalls, but for every charity which is represented here. So I have great pleasure in opening the 2009 Kingston Values of Southall Village Bay. Thank you. No, not in there, right? That's why I asked you to start. <laughs> Hello, 
shoes, oh, new shoes. What is it, sweetheart? A new nylon. Oh, you lovely new dress. Yes, it's beautiful. Guy came to me last year saying that he'd written a screenplay and um, it did require a big house, to which point I said, Guy, you, you mean Kingston Bagpuse House? And I gave him my wholehearted support. Every community effort he has done since he's been in the village, he's done with consummate success, involved everybody, made everybody enjoy the experience. So I felt of all the people I probably know, if he had this idea, it was going to work. And to date, it's you know on track. His enthusiasm is very inspiring, I think, for a lot of other people in the village. I think it's going to go very smoothly, generally. I'm sure there'll be um, occasional hiccups, uh, but I think there's a really good team of people who are very committed to wanting it to happen. So I think. Um, yeah, I think it'll, it'll go really smoothly. I think it's working together really well. Um, and it's nice to see some people that I, I don't know who are getting involved in it too. Um, people who sort of tend not to join societies and things, but are actually coming together to do things for the film. There's nothing like an inspirational project like this that's bringing people together, the community, everybody, and everyone's pulling together. I think it's going quite well. We've got lots of lovely actors and I think there's quite a good um, camaraderie amongst the filming crew, actors and those of us who are sort of backing them up. You know, we've done pantomimes in the past and stuff like that and uh, we've always found that it, it brings a, a whole community spirit, it adds to it in fact, you know, and this is like super plus, you know, we can go international with this, we will go international with this. I think it's going really, really well. It's, there's no doubt it's hard work, that it can be stressful, but overall it's just really, really good fun. And I, I cannot tell you how much I love it and really enjoying it to the point where I'm considering um, going on to do this professionally. So it's brilliant, really, really good, really enjoying it. Locations where to have it. Okay. What are you doing to get some of that? Can you get ready in the market viewing when it's open? Thank you very much. Say, Mike, if you want to slow. Well, yeah. Well, uh, the original plan was. I'm glad you're having a job. Present on the desk for you, Harry. <laughs> now it's time to pick it out. How's that we love? No, you just have to wait. She said love don't come easy. It's a game of give and take. Two twelve, take one. I've been, I'm on to my sixth year here now. I have been here since Adam was five, so that's 15, 17 years maybe. 16, 17 years? Long time. I have to admit I did tick a box which said something about, I can't quite remember how it was phrased, but something about enabling people to get on together or something like that. There was some little phrase that, the, and I thought, well, it sounds as if I might, so I ticked that, but. I didn't think that would move into assistant director, I thought, mm, big leap. It is the most enjoyable community I've ever lived in in my life. It is great fun and I love every minute of it. Most of the village seems 
really into the film and really eager to help and you know do anything which is why we've managed to get all these locations and you know keep the crew and the cast down here without having to fork out loads of money for like posh hotels and stuff like that. Everyone's just been really nice basically. Everybody's great. <laughs> I've got it's been lovely to meet people um, and get to know them as well get to know of not only the professional crew but the village people as well from our point of view who haven't been here that long so that's been lovely what's been so lovely is because sue has been responsible for, for the catering or well, mostly for the catering people have been arriving that we don't know very well with cakes and pies and flans and sorts of things and it's been just lovely our kitchen's been full of really nice food none of which i'm allowed to touch but it, we've met some lovely people that have lived in the village for some time that we didn't have a, a, a sort of a way of meeting in the past, but, and it's just great, absolutely lovely. Brilliant community to live in. Um, it's not the classic English village, it's not particularly pretty, uh, but the community spirit is, is wonderful, and there's such a lot to do in the village. Lovely, really, really friendly, and I was a bit concerned when I first came up because I didn't know anyone but everyone's been so kind and they're always there for you, you know, when you need to cry or when you just need a hug or a cup of tea. And um, yeah, everyone's really supportive, really, really supportive. I'm actually up about half past four in the morning because I have six Great Danes and walking around the fields, getting them exercise, home, feed them, shower, out, over, down in what I call the shed, but I think they call it the costume or wardrobe, for 10 to six, well, sorry, 10 to seven in the morning. And then everyone's, piling in they've had their hair done already so they've been up early too and then paint a few faces and they get changed and off they go one of my customers was telling me today that billy elliott the film started out as a small entity and then it just grew and grew so who knows and I've never seen a group of people put so much in um, on every front and to do it all to the standards that we've, we've said and that, that have been, the level of expectation has been huge and on every single count that expectation has been met and exceeded in, in many cases. So it's an enormous thank you for letting us invade and take over your entire village for six weeks and I promise we won't come back too soon.
I am very grateful for all of your efforts. You're all in the credits, you'll all be in the film. Thank you very much. What I'm going to do now is just to uh, show you their handiwork. It's a little flavour of the film, of making the film. So everybody, give yourself a round of applause for Freddie.